Hi, Jerry Kafitz again with Omega Chemical to talk to you about uh, another aspect of truck washing in this series of videos called the five secrets of truck washing. The first secret was on delivery. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Keep the delivery method simple with a minimum of equipment and a maximum of efficiency. The second was uh, understanding the nature of chemicals, the chemical nature of products and the specific use that they have based on their nature, not getting into the kind of situation chemically where you're, as we said, using uh, a wrench as a hammer. Yes, you can drive nails with a wrench, but I prefer a hammer. It's more efficient. Um, the uh, uh, method that I see a lot of people using out there where they're having the brush is basically using a chemical that's too weak, and so that chemical becomes then a lubricant for the brushes. This, this has to do with car washing. This has more in common with car washing, not truck washing. But because of the nature of the paint on, on, uh, on fleets, over the road trucks, tractors, because of the paint that's on them, Emron paint and other two-part epoxy paints, they can withstand much, much, much harsher chemicals. So you're selling yourself short if you don't have those kinds of chemicals. Look at the pH of your truck wash soap. If it's uh, 10, 11 or so, you've got a product that is just unbelievably, unbelievably weak. Remember, the difference between a 10 and an 11 in the pH scale is a factor of 10. An 11 is 10 times stronger. What's the pH of our number two truck wash? It's 14. Okay? There's no higher pH than that. It's impossible. And we've had to employ some real tricks of the trade and tricks that are not tricks of the trade. They're entirely proprietary to keep the level of, of active ingredient and builders and surfactants that we have in our number two truck wash in, in suspension, in solution, because there's so much in there. I would venture to say that a lot of the truck washes that are out there, liquids, are 80% um, water, 70% water. Um, Boy, that's, that's, I mean, you're paying a lot of money for water if that's the case. If the pH is in the range of 11 or so, 10, 11, 12, even 13, you're selling yourself short. Then the pH has to survive dilution. What kind of dilution? Well, we have aluminum brighteners that dilute at 45 to 1. Uh, I don't recommend them because they're just extremely aggressive and they don't have, they don't give what's called the satin shine, which our other brighteners do. My main recommendation for aluminum brightener is, is our safety bright, our safety bright. It works at 20 to 1, 22 to 1, 24 to 1, depending on the climate, but it is safe on glass, safe on glass, safe on glass and effective at 24 to 1, cold water, no brushing. I honestly don't think that you're going to beat that. Uh, five to six dollar a gallon range, you know, on uh, one to two drums uh, less on uh, pallets. So what's our goal? Our goal, as we stated before, is this. To provide effective fleet washing chemicals, aluminum brightener, number two truck wash, in the five to six dollar a gallon range that dilute at 20 to one, never any less, not in truck washing, in industrial cleaning maybe, not in fleet washing, 20 to one, and that work with cold water and no brushing. Cold water and no brushing. Um, if you're brushing, I call it the Fred Flintstone method, and I got news for you, you're working for wages. If you're brushing, you're working for wages, and it is unnecessary. Put the energy into the cleaning equation chemically, not mechanically. Mechanically, I'll just leave you dead at the end of the day. We gave that up in the first few months of truck washing in the early 19, mid 1980s. I just understood not going to make any money brushing. And we found out that chemicals can do the job. So watch some more of these videos. We have other videos besides this series of five. And I think you'll learn a lot. And I'm always available to talk to somebody about their individual fleet washing problems. And we can help you solve them. Thanks for watching this video.